I'm going to review the evidence of the health benefits of nuts. Many trials have randomized patients to a diet without nuts or a diet supplemented with nuts. Cholesterol levels were measured and compared after weeks on the diets. Meta-analysis of all these trials definitely prove the finding that tree nuts lower cholesterol, and all nuts are about equal in lowering cholesterol. And the more you eat, the lower the serum cholesterol. Nuts also reduce other cardiometabolic risk factors, including blood sugar levels, insulin resistance, and insulin secretion. These three randomized trials assessed the impacts of almonds on glucose and insulin. One study was done in diabetics, one in people at risk for diabetes, and the third in normal healthy people except they had high cholesterol. These studies show that almonds improve blood sugar, lower insulin levels, and improve insulin resistance in people with or without diabetes. And that's not all. Nuts may also be an important food group for battling obesity. Cross-sectional studies show that people that eat more nuts are not as fat. And multiple randomized trials show that people randomized to eat nuts lose either the same amount of weight or more weight than the control groups that are not eating nuts. And in long-term prospective cohort trials, people that eat nuts do not gain as much weight as those that do not eat nuts. For example, this study followed 120,000 Americans for years. The average participant gained weight over the years, except those that ate nuts lost weight. These cross-sectional studies, short-term randomized trials, and prospective cohort trials all suggest that frequent nut consumption helps with weight control. Since nuts lower cholesterol, improve blood sugar, reduce the risk of obesity, and improve cardiovascular inflammatory markers, you'd expect them to prevent heart disease. Let's look at the data from prospective cohort trials. Published in 2002, this is data from 20,000 physicians that were followed for 17 years. Those that consumed nuts two or more times per week had a reduction in sudden cardiac death by 50%. 50% and a 30% reduction in death from coronary heart disease. About 15 years later, the same group was studied again, this time with more careful adjustment for other risk factors with the same result for reduction in death from cardiovascular disease. There are a lot more prospective cohort trials, not quite as many as we assess for red meat because some of the cohorts didn't adequately track nut consumption, but all told we have more than 600,000 people followed for many years. In these studies, the people eating nuts had a lower risk of heart disease and death from heart disease, and in this last study, even a 56% lower risk of death from any cause. Yes, that's 56%. Why do we see such different numbers for each study? Because there are different populations of people, followed for different amounts of time, and they consume different amounts of nuts. We don't have a meta-analysis that pools all the studies together yet, but it doesn't matter because all of the studies show a benefit from nut consumption, and it's a very large benefit. The data is convincing that nuts reduce heart disease. I'm going to go over one last study, the Global Burden of Disease Study. This is a cool study. Dozens of socio-environmental factors were assessed to determine which factors cause the most disease worldwide. Factors include exercise, smoking, pollution, access to clean air, etc., and also include various food types. The researchers analyzed thousands of studies, then applied a lot of geeky math. Their findings Diets low in nuts were the number one most important dietary factor in the worldwide burden of heart disease. This study suggests that as a population, the number one dietary change that we can make to reduce heart disease is to eat more nuts. That's more important for heart disease prevention than any other dietary factor. How often should you eat nuts? Well, we know that the more nuts you eat, the lower your cholesterol. We also know from cohort trials that eating nuts at least twice per week lowers mortality. I therefore recommend that you eat nuts at least two times per week, but ideally every day. How much should you eat? I suggest about a quarter of a cup, which is a small handful. Where do nuts fit on our healthful scale of foods? Right at the top, nuts have a legitimate claim to being one of the healthiest foods we eat. If you eat foods that are on the bad-for-you side of this scale, consider replacing them with nuts. Actually, there's a group of researchers that suggest mixing beef with nuts, so the combined almond burger will fall in the middle from a health perspective. I'm not going to review that data, though, because I think the researchers are nut burgers themselves. Note that I didn't mention peanuts during this talk. That's because peanuts aren't tree nuts, they're legumes. They're still good for you. They'll be placed approximately here, but I'll remove them for now because we'll cover peanuts when we cover legumes. Nuts are truly a superfood and should be a frequently consumed food group. Tree nuts lower cholesterol, help with weight control, improve blood sugar and insulin levels, and very significantly reduce heart disease.